hello guys welcome to feel the dream the channel that helps you feel your dream whatever that dream is on this channel we talk all things fashion finance and entrepreneurship so if that is something that you are interested in please do click the subscribe button so um today's video was requested by Husiami Muletani and Hemi WW. I'm creating a video because um, these two individuals asked me if I can give them tips for applying into fashion school at TUT specifically because that's where I went. So I'm gonna base this off of my own personal experience, but I'm pretty sure you can take this information and use it everywhere else or anywhere else rather so thank you Husiami. thank you hemi ww um i'm firstly gonna talk about my background so i've known since i was like nine years old that i wanted to be a fashion designer and from that point onwards my entire life was basically built around that i knew i wanted to be a designer i had an aunt who had already graduated from TUT as a fashion designer. So she was always my go-to person when I needed information or when I just wanted to feel inspired, you know? So I would go to her house, we'd talk about fashion. She'd show me what she used to do back in university. She'd show me like a sketch and then show me the um, end the result. Like she would design something and then show me the actual product that she designed off of that sketch right now i knew i knew like <laughs> like i knew and even people around me will tell you that i this one we knew she was going to be a designer so yeah that's where it started for me my entire life was literally built around this so i'm basically living my dream right now i knew i wanted to either study in cape town at cape peninsula university of technology or at um, TUT but because I had so much information about TUT from my aunt I decided to opt for that so my tips guys I'm gonna start with the subjects um, because I knew from way back that fashion is all I wanted to do I based my subject choices off of that i chose art i did business studies and i did accounting and maths literacy but i don't necessarily advise anyone to do that especially if they know that in future they might have other interests that they might be wanting to do like for example with me currently i wanted to switch careers and try i'm not gonna say what but that particular thing required maths and guys i was good but because i knew i wanted to be a designer i didn't see the need for me to do maths like pure maths you know so maybe Luana, if you feel like in future you might want to pivot and consider doing other things that might require your maths your sciences I'd say stick to that because even with those subjects, you would still be able to get into fashion school. Just make sure you do really well in all of your subjects. Biggest advice. When it comes to applying into fashion school, I'd say guys, start as early as you possibly can. Don't wait until the very last minute. Don't wait until Jan because by that time, if there is space it's very limited but in most cases there isn't space really because people applied the year prior you know so for me i applied in july of 2009 when i was in matric biggest advice apply for res as well even though you know you might not want to go live in res apply for res just in case you want to go to res okay otherwise you're gonna cry res it flies by so quickly and even if you do apply in july the previous year there's no guarantee that you will get the space so i'd rather do your things plan your things ahead be ahead of the pack check out nurses um i studied via nurses so if you also need like bursaries look into nurses usually their applications also open the year prior to the year in which you want to study so make sure you apply just when those applications open get in there get your applications in now um okay so i'm just gonna tell you guys about my own personal experience when i was applying for fashion design at the Tony university of technology specifically 
Um, so I applied in July of 2009, which was the year I was doing the trick. I sent through my application using my grade 11 results. And I think they got back to me two months later, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they replied with a task that I had to do. I had to, I think they had a few questions that they asked me. And then I also had to sketch, was it a design or two? I think it was two designs. Yeah, I had to come up with two designs, sketch them, um, color them in or paint or whatever medium I wanted to use. And then I also had to include fabric swatches. For that, I would say um, if you not too confident with yourself and your sketching you can go on the internet search for croquis or a model a model and then print it out trace the model out and then you can start sketching from there because i had an art background i did it freehand i didn't feel the need to to do any of that i sent it back and i just never heard from them again jan of 2010 i remember it was on my birthday i went to um, pretoria from rustenburg i went to pretoria with my cousin and when i got to the fashion department i told them who i was i was like hey i applied last year july um you guys sent me a portfolio thing that I had to work on I sent it back and I just never heard from you guys they're like ah Tolanang, your portfolio is actually right here it's been flying around the department <laughs> so apparently like lecturers were very impressed with my work so it had been like going from one lecturer to the next everybody just looking at it since the previous year so she still had it this is the receptionist she still had it by the reception area she's like no we didn't respond to you i'm like nope you never she's like no they're actually busy upstairs with a test and they literally just started now you can go up there and join them so i had to join them for this i guess this was the last leg of the application process so i got there and it was a test basically they were asking us questions and we had to sketch again and yeah so i did that and after that they told me the same day that i've been accepted i was so happy guys well i was happy that was like the best birthday gift ever the tips i would give you for this test that you have to do on campus is i'd say just familiarize yourself with the fashion industry both international and local um, know your designers both local and international study their work you don't have to go too deep into their work but just know something about our local designers and maybe one or two international designers you need to know the modules that you'll be doing um, in your fashion course so for me like i said i had my aunt and i spent a lot of time with her i knew the ins and outs of fashion especially for tut i knew the lecturers they, by name obviously i didn't know their faces but if I would have heard of their name, you know, so that's how much research I had done prior. So I knew the subjects thanks to my aunt. And if Luena, you feel like um, you need more information about the course, you can check the TUT um, website, check the prospectors, go to the fashion designing side and you'll see all the information is always there. OK, and yeah, just bring your A game because you're going to be sketching again. Think outside of, of the box, like I said. Don't be mediocre and give them things that they've seen or things that are already out there. Try to give them something fresh, something new, something innovative. You get what I mean? So, yeah, try that. And then know your fabrics and their different uses. I don't know if this was in the test, but obviously because you're going to need it for your portfolio application, I'd say you know that as well. I practice sketching because even though you, you, you're practicing for the test, you're still going to need to sketch should you get into the course, you know. So yeah, start practicing, shading, all of those things. But yeah, for the actual test and the application process, these are the tips that I have for you. It's not that difficult, guys. But also this was 13 years ago, I think. 
So maybe things have changed now, but I don't think they would have changed drastically. So this information should still be able to carry you into the course. <laughs> but anyway, good luck, guys. If you're planning to apply into fashion school, I'm pretty sure you can take this information and run with it, use it. It does not only apply to TUT. Any university, any college, this information will come in handy. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Give my hala. It's free. You're not going to pay anything. I promise. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye.